the best LiPo charger out there for under 60 bucks. Well, I actually bought this one from Banggood myself, as you might want to when you hear the specs and you see and hear just how fast it charges batteries up. Reason for getting this, I'll come on to in just a second. Battery chargers, batteries, they're not the most interesting things, but they are the lifeblood of our RC life. Cars like this are my felony, which I converted to 8S yesterday, now on some 2 4S LiPos. I needed to charge them in a hurry, and my existing charger, I've had a few issues with. So let's get straight down to it and show you why I'm using this. Well, it's the Toolkit M6D Charger. 500 watts. What, in that tiny little box, Rich? You have to be kidding. No, I'm not kidding. That's really how big it is. It takes a power supply in the top there, which I'll come on to in a minute, as I don't earn anything wearing this shell. It's not quite as simple as getting a charger this small. Got two XT60 ports and two balance ports at the bottom. This is a 500 watt charger for less than $60. 250 watts per channel. Before I show you the performance of this and just how easy it is to use, because it's idiot proof, you don't even need the instruction manual, which yours truly didn't even bother reading before demonstrating it in this video. The problem I've got is this. So, diving straight into my Toolkit M6D battery charger review. Why do I need this? This is my current Venom quad charger. 400 watts, 100 watts per each of the four channels. Two of the channels have failed, so I'm down to two channels on there. Quite often I'm needing to charge four or maybe six batteries at a time. The new Toolkit M6D charger is that 500 watt charger. Whereas this is 100 watts per channel. This is there, this being two channels, 250 watts per channel. So it should charge me 4S batteries up in lightning quick time. Now as I say, it's yours for about $59.95 off of Banggood, including free delivery, I believe. But you are gonna need this wall mounted power supply. And that's a little bit noisy. Hopefully that won't interfere with the video too much. Now using the scroll function, what does that do, Richie? Flick it over, it turns to the standby. Flick it back, turns to the battery. Now we're gonna press down on that scroll button and pulls up the full menu on here. You can switch between channel one and channel two. So we've got to go back to channel one. Now, if you're using the jog dial, you can rotate through. You can pick the number of cells as auto, charge mode, end voltage, charge current on there. I'm gonna leave it set on auto cells. Battery type LiPo, that's fine. But let's have a look just to see what we can get on there. You can put LiPo, LiHV, LiFE, lithium iron, nickel metal hydride, lead batteries, uh, power, I think you can just use it as a power supply, uh, UAV batteries, so it's not something for drones there. Anyway, let's keep it on LiPo. Scan there, everything else looks good on there, other than, now these are 5,200 milliamp packs a piece, so I need to set that first of all. Appears to be very, I've not even read the instruction manual on the thing. That intuitive to use on it. Now, using the, now you can see the cells charging on here. The voltages on this side are from this battery. But if I scroll through, you can see all the parameters of everything you want on here. Oh, quite a few different options. Now that's quite handy. You can change the current from this screen if you want. Quite a neat feature on there. And that's also, I would point out how you stop the battery from charging if you want to finish it early. Ah, now I'm wondering how I changed to this channel, and it's probably by using this button mark CH Exit. Let's press that, moves across to this one, so we're now live on this one. That threw me there completely for a minute, people. I couldn't figure out how to get from that one to this one, but it simply press the channel exit button until this is highlighted. You can press this button down again, lithium polymer, we're very happy on that, auto cells on there, charging mode, end voltage, and the charge current is already on 5.2, but you do need to pay attention on that. Now, ah, and it's, if you notice, the, the color coding is different. Everything in the other screen for the other channel was in uh, making sure we're on channel two. You will note that all the highlights on here are in blue, as opposed to orange. So it does, so it does give you some visual difference between the two channels. Just checking through, everything is set on here. I could use this jog dial. As an example, if I wanted to go up and change the, the charge current on there, but I've no need to as this battery is also 5.2 amp one. So I'm gonna scan straight down, press start on there, and we're off and running, and that's now charging as well. And you can see how many watts are going in, how hard the charger is working, see the cell voltages, 
see how many milliamps have gone in look at that already in that like four, what probably about four minutes 3100 milliamps coming in there speed this thing is charging the batteries that absolutely phenomenal and you can keep an eye on the current on here as well as the voltage anyway I'm going to time that and we're going to come back and see just how long it took to charge those okay now both batteries have actually finished charging um this one in 57 minutes we put 1100 milliamps into this one and in this one in 58 minutes we put a whacking 3350 milliamps so that's going to charge say so this charger more than capable of charging a 3000 milliamp pack in well under an hour anything that charges a pack of this size under an hour in my mind absolutely outstanding well, as I said at the start of the video, battery charging is like an essential part of RC cars, but it isn't the most interesting thing. Anyway, I hope I've managed to show you some interest in this charger. From my point of view, it does everything I want until I can sort out another four-channel charger. Oh, and by the way, if anyone out there has got a four-channel charger they want me to test, then hit me up on YouTube. But as I say, I had nothing away. When you, you get this charger, you think, oh, that's tiny, I'll just find one main lady in. You do need matching power supply uh, to go in. Yeah, I've got two on the wall here. You'll need one of these to power it. But overall, the tool m6d dual charger 500 watts as i say gets the richie thumbs up if you like this video give it the thumbs up as well thanks for watching well thumbs up if you like this video guys post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe and if you do hit the circle don't forget to hit the bell